Hey friends, you're watching Brainstorm Makers. I'm Henry. And I'm Irene. And today we have something a little different to talk about. So if you've been following us this year, we, you know that we grew both sweet potatoes and regular white potatoes in buckets. And we had some success with that, which was terrific. Right, and we learned a lot too, which is almost as important. <laughs> but last spring, we were trying to grow pota uh, sweet potato slips. And they just didn't, and they just didn't. And we were beginning to wonder if we were ever going to get any. It took well over a month before we saw any little teeny tiny thing. It took several months. Yeah. And we were just like about ready to give up when suddenly one day they popped out. So before Thanksgiving, we were collecting vegetables for Thanksgiving dinner. And because we often have trouble getting stuff, we were shopping in a couple of different stores and we were kind of stockpiling things so that we'd have some options. And in that process, we wound up with a couple of extra sweet potatoes. So we used the newest sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving, but we kept a couple of the other ones aside and they were still in their plastic bag because we were trying to make sure that they didn't dehydrate. Well, after Thanksgiving, when we were stashing away the rest of the stuff, creating more space in the refrigerator and things like that, all of a sudden, there were the sweet potatoes. Yeah, so those sweet potatoes were bought less than a week before Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and we started looking at the sweet potatoes the day after Thanksgiving. And right. they were already sprouted. They were sprouted. We were so excited because it took us, like I said, we almost gave up last spring. So what we're going to do is we've got both the sweet potatoes sprouting and we also have a couple of regular white potatoes that are developing nice little sprouts on them. This means we'll start the stuff early in the greenhouse, but we'll let it grow inside for a while. And with the sweet potatoes, we're just going to break off the slips when they get big enough, keep them in water, and grow them up to a decent size before we even think about planting them out. So now what we're going to have is we'll have the slips for sweet potatoes to, to put in the buckets to actually grow the tubers, and we're going to use some of the leaves from some of those slips as greens. Right. We actually liked the way they tasted. They were surprisingly good. Right. So we'll keep, we'll set aside probably a plant or something like that to use for leaves and everybody else will be for tubers. But we're going to experiment. We're going to be doing a little bit more research on soil amendments and stuff like that. And we're going to see what we can produce. Please follow along with what we're doing. It's going to be interesting. I, you know, on the one hand, I'm really excited to see these things sprout. On the other hand, it's the middle of December. Right. And I'm not sure what's actually going to happen for when these things can actually go in the ground. Right. Well, we probably won't put any in the ground at all this year. And we'll put them in buckets. Yeah, we'll put them in buckets and then we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's possible we could decide to plant some in one of the beds because we're gonna be mixing it up completely this summer. And we have, a, we have somebody to help us here. Right, she decided that we were sitting on the sofa. So it must be come, time for her to come visit. <laughs> if you like what we're doing here, Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you know when we put something new up. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Okay.